What's up, YouTube? This time we're going to be on the 2017 Ninja 650. I really like that dash. That dash is really nice. A lot of play in the throttle, but that can be adjusted. It's pretty nifty. I like how narrow the bike is being a shorter rider at 5'6". Oh wow, this bike is really turkey. is really twerky. Oh yeah, okay. I see uh, I see what everybody's talking about now. <laughs> this bike rides really well. This is a hell of a lot smoother than what I was expecting. Suspension is set up pretty nice for me. I'm uh, <laughs> at a shy 200 pounds. The clutch lever is super soft. And by soft, I mean very easy to pull in. Bike is really torquey though. Really jerky in first and second gear. Seating position, I'm ever so slightly lean forward. And it's pretty light too. Slow speed maneuvering would not be a problem. As you guys can see, you turn the handlebars pretty far compared to a Super Sport which is what I'm used to. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is pretty nice. I'm really, really surprised by the suspension. I don't know what it is, but the last bike and this bike, the suspension is really nice. It's not, it's not too firm. It's not too soft. It's just right. It absorbs bumps really nice. this wind really nice so we're doing 60 in fourth gear yeah, this guy next to me is on the uh, ZX10R see so being next to this semi I'm getting blown around all my, myself my head's getting blown around quite a bit the bike actually feels really stable. So oh yeah, this bike has a very good flickability factor to it. Cruising at a little over five grand, doing 70 mile an hour. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got a little bit of passing power. Most of the torque's all down low, so... Yeah, the torque's down low. They're very light and very comfortable. If you're... I can almost flat foot both feet. Almost. But like I said, I'm a 29 inch inseam. It's got a nice little... It's fun. It's definitely fun. The only bike that I would really want to compare this to 
honestly would be the Honda CBR 500. <laughs> Talking about the cop being here, not being able to play around as much. It feels like this is an electronic throttle. I don't know if it is or not, but it's a little bit of a lag. And I think that lag would still be there even after the adjustment. I like that tail light on the ZX-10 though. It's pretty cool. Now, of course the cops go in the same way that we are. taking these bumps pretty well even at speed it's uh the suspension is just it, it's confidence inspiring like I don't have a fear of losing traction that's pretty awesome the R3 man I didn't trust it at all maybe I was just too big for that bike I'm not sure this bike I do trust it which is really weird because I don't even trust my 600 half the time. Oh, I'm in fifth gear. Let's knock that down second. See all these bumps. I'm not even worried about these bumps. This bike is fun, that's for sure. If I were to get a bike in this class, this would be a very strong contender, even though this is the only one I've ridden. But I am enjoying this a lot. in the mid-range torque I can tell where it dissipates it just kind of fades away and that's right about 6,000 7,000 rpm is where you stop feeling the pull of the motor but anything below that is fair game I'd say passing power, uh, fourth gear or lower, under 7,000 RPM is where you're going to get the most out of the bike. <laughs> I guess it was a couple bars in the right gear. Very confidence inspiring. I don't know, somebody who's more bike savvy. More, uh, more experience. I would say someone who is probably going to pick this up very quickly, this bike would be great for. So let's uh, go ahead and kill it and take a look at it real quick. Twenty seventeen Ninja six fifty. Very fun ride. I really enjoyed that. Awesome. Now we're gonna go for the next one. Yamaha FGR. See you soon.